good morning students and now i am going to explain the topic uh, human resource management hr management in this class we have to understand about uh, what is the meaning of uh, human resource management and uh, what is the human resource planning and also what are the uh, steps involved in uh, human resource planning process and also uh, we explained about uh, job evaluation coming to the coming to the first one uh, meaning of uh, human resource management what is the meaning of uh, human resource management <coughs> human resource management uh, refers uh, to the concept or methods uh, needed to carry out uh, responsibility of the personnel in aspects of uh, managing organizational tasks such as uh, recruiting screening training rewarding and some other uh, related tasks that is known as uh, human resource uh, management nowadays it would be difficult to imagine that uh, organizations can achieve and uh, sustain uh, effectiveness at their work without efficient uh, human resource management programs and activities human resource management is the process of uh, human resource management is the process of uh, managing the human resource of an organization in tune with the vision of the top management vision of the top management in any organization so there are uh, three levels three levels are there uh, top level middle level and lower level here human resource management is the process of uh, managing the human resource of an organization in tune with the vision vision of the top management this is the meaning of uh, human resource management and the next uh, importance of uh, human resource management importance of human resource uh, management to hire a right person for the right job first one uh, to hire a right person for the right job the second one uh, to avoid uh, high manpower turnover to avoid uh, high manpower turnover and the next uh, to ensure people doing the best and the next uh, to conduct a proper interview and the next one to avoid uh, legal implications and the next uh, to ensure uh, proper uh, compensation management and the uh, next uh, to ensure quality and uh, justice and right pay for uh, right right person and the last one uh, to avoid uh, unfair uh, labor practices to avoid uh, unfair uh, labor practices Un- unfair uh, means uh, unfair means uh, not based on or behaving according to the behavior behaving according to the principles of equality of just under de- justice that is known as uh, unfair means unfair uh, means behaving according to the principles of uh, equality and uh, justice that is known as uh, unfair to avoid unfair uh, labor practice practices this is the 
development of uh, immune system uh, management and the next one uh, see human resource planning human resource planning the human human resource planning is a continuous process of uh, human resource planning is a continuous process of uh, systematic uh, planning ahead to achieve optimum use of uh, an organization's most valuable asset equality employees human resource planning ensures the best uh, fit between uh, employees and jobs will avoiding manpower uh, shortages or uh, surpluses and this is the meaning of uh, human resource planning to avoid uh, manpower shortages or uh, surpluses of the employees in the organization uh, this is the main aim of uh, human resource planning and the next uh, Uh, there are uh, there are four types of, uh, there are four uh, steps in the human resource planning process they include uh, analyzing present labor supply this is the first step uh, analyzing present labor supply and the second one uh, forecasting labor demand and the next uh, balancing projected labor demand with the supply and uh, fourth one uh, fourth step is uh, supporting organization goals these are all the four steps involved in the uh, human resource planning process human resource planning process human resource planning is an important uh, investment for any business as uh, it follows companies to remain both uh, productive and uh, profitable and the next one uh, see the uh, human resource planning process steps uh, first one uh, analyzing labor supply analyzing labor supply the first step in human resource planning is the is to identify the companies identify the companies uh, current human resources supply current human resource supply in this step uh, the hr department studies the strength of the organization based on the number of employees and also their skills and uh, qualifications and positions benefits and uh, performance levels these are all the understand the understood the uh, hr department uh, by analyzing the labor supply this is the first uh, step regarding the uh, human resource planning process and the second step is uh, forecasting labor demand what is the meaning of uh, forecasting forecasting means uh, estimating the future estimate estimating the future that is known as uh, forecasting here forecasting uh, labor demand the second step requires the second step requires the company to outline the future of its workforce to outline the future of its workforce here the hr department can consider certain issues like uh, promotions retirements layoffs and uh, transfers anything that factors into the future needs of a company the hr department can also look at uh, external conditions uh, impacting labor demand such as uh, new technology that might increase or decrease the need uh, for workers this is a forecasting labor demand based on the future here uh, the hr department uh, based on the future 
estimate the labor demand estimate the labor demand what we have required in the required in the organization in future and the next uh, next one uh, next step is uh, balancing labor demand with the supply balancing labor demand with the supply the third step in the human resource planning process is uh, forecasting the employment uh, demand human resource uh, hr creates a gap ana analysis that lays uh, lays out a specific needs to narrow the supply of the company's labor versus uh, future demand this analysis will often generate a series of questions such as uh, should employees learn uh, new skills does the company need uh, more managers do all employees play to their uh, strengths in their current roles these are all the questions uh, regarding the balancing labor demand with uh, supply and the next one uh, fourth step is uh, develop, uh, developing and implementing a plan here the answers to questions from the gap analysis gap analysis it help hr uh, hr uh, determine how to proceed uh, which is the final phase of the human resource planning process hr must uh, now take uh, practical steps to integrate uh, its plan with the rest of the company the department needs a budget in this stage the department needs a budget the ability to implement the plan and a collaborative effort with all departments to execute the plan this is the final stage of human resource planning procedure and the next one uh, see job evaluation what is the meaning of uh, job evaluation what are the objectives of uh, job evaluation we have to understand here uh, first uh, meaning of job evaluation a job evaluation is a systematic way of uh, determining the value or worth of a job in related in relation to other jobs in an organization it tries to make a systematic comparison between uh, jobs to assess their relative worth for the purpose of uh, establishing a rational based structure here it provides uh, valuable insights into certain questions such as uh, such as uh, why the uh, why the chief executive is paid the highest uh, and uh, why the production supervisors in the shop floor is paid uh, lesser and so on the type of uh, questions are uh, raised here a fundamental uh, a, 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 a fundamental a fundamental uh, prerequisite is to establishment of a company compensation policy in the departmentation policy in the determination of the comparative values of uh, jobs throughout the hierarchy these values for uh, these values uh, from the basis to build uh, the pay under the benefits uh, benefits uh, package once the range of uh, job values is uh, available they can be compared with uh, those of other uh, companies the same or different industries in other in order to establish the prevailing market rates the procedures used must uh, 
be easy to understand and administer and the employees must pursue the system as fair and the next objectives of job evaluation objectives of job evaluation the first one determination of wage structure determination of wage structure job evaluation being a logical procedure and objective technique helps in developing a um, equitable and consistent wage and salary structure based on the based on the relative worth of jobs in an organization and the next uh, minimizing conflict by eliminating wage uh, differentials with the organization with, with the organization job evaluation helps in minimizing conflict uh, between our labor unions and the management and in turn uh, turn uh, helps in uh, promoting harmonious relations between them and the third one objectivity and rationality in wage structure job evaluation process follows a standard procedure for ascertaining the value of the job the jobs are evaluated on the objective basis and thus introduce objectivity and rationality in wage structure it helps to remove wage differentials it helps to remove wage differentials and fourth one determining the monetary worth of job job evaluation process uh, job evaluation process job evaluation process aims at determining the amount of remuneration to be paid for each job in the organization this is the determining the monetary worth of job and the next job evaluation methods job evaluation methods the methods of job evaluation can be broadly classified as two types the first one non analytical methods and analytical methods analytical methods and non analytical methods there are two types under the first one non analytical methods these are traditional and simple the uh, the considers all uh, the jobs available compare them and then rank them non analytical methods of job evaluation are uh, ranking method and uh, job classification method under this uh, under uh, non analytical methods are classified into there are uh, two methods uh, the first one a uh, ranking method and uh, second one uh, job classification method. coming to the first one uh, ranking method coming to the first one uh, ranking method under this uh, the job in the organization are arranged either in the ascending or descending order and the numbered uh, serially the basis of such arrangement would be the job description in terms of duties responsibilities qualifications relative difficulty involved in the doing the job or uh, value to the company based on these uh, things the jobs are uh, giving uh, rankings and then conceptually this is easy to understand and uh, implement uh, particularly for a smaller organization 
however it fails to indicate the degree of uh, different uh, uh, difference between uh, each grade subjectively a uh, subjectivity cannot be ruled out in the process of ranking in other words value is placed on the people doing those jobs rather than on the job itself however this method cannot be used in uh, large organizations the job which carries the highest value to the company is paid the most and uh, vice versa similarly the job that carries critical duties and responsibilities carries a relatively higher worth this is the ranking method this is about uh, ranking method and the next one uh, job classification method job classification method this is also called job grading method this is also called grading method here the number of grades and the salary particulars for each grade are worked out first the grades are clearly described in terms of knowledge skills and and so on knowledge skills and so on then the jobs in the organizations are allocated to these grades as per the job description and uh, grades uh, identified grades identified this is the job classification method here this is a uh, relatively simple to understand and easy to carry out it is totally based on the number of grades and uh, salary particulars for each grade uh, worked out first it may not be possible to make clear uh, distinctions between jobs in a complex organization which uh, in a complex organization with a wide uh, variety of uh, specialist roles it is very difficult to implement uh, this method and the next one analytical methods next one is uh, analytical methods under this methods the jobs are broken down into different tasks the uh, the jobs are broken down into different tasks different factors such as uh, skill responsibility education level and so on there are uh, two methods the first one uh, factor comparison method and uh, points rating method factor comparison method and uh, factor comparison method and the uh, second one is points rating method the first one uh, factor comparison method every job uh, require certain uh, capabilities on the part of the person who does the job such as uh, mental requirements such as mental requirements it means uh, education alertness and judgment uh, initiative creativity such as uh, uh, and so on these are all the related to mental requirements and the next uh, skill requirements use of equipment and uh, materials and the next uh, physical requirements under this uh, strength under this uh, physical requirements strength and the next uh, responsibility responsibility for the safety of others for uh, equipment uh, materials and so on 
these are all the comes under responsibility and the next working conditions working conditions means uh, work pressure and uh, working environment uh, and working hazards uh, like this these are all the comes under under uh, factor comparison method factor comparison method and the next one point rating method point uh, rating method there are four uh, widely accepted uh, factors used in the point rating method uh, skill effort uh, responsibility and job conditions each of these factors is uh, divided into sub factors the first one uh, skill under this education and job knowledge education and job knowledge experience and training initiative and uh, physical dexterity these are all the comes under uh, skill and next uh, effort effort means uh, physical effort or mental effort physical and uh, mental mental effort and the next uh, responsibility responsibility towards uh, tools and equipment materials or products safety of staff and others work and the next one uh, job conditions under this uh, working conditions unavoidable hazards immediate uh, surroundings these are all comes under uh, job conditions this is the, this is about uh, point and point rating method in the above list uh, skill is a factor and uh, it has four sub factors like uh, the, uh, like this each of this factor is uh, further uh, subdivided into sub factors uh, depending upon the comp uh, complexity involved each sub factor is assigned uh, a degree and points this is the this is about uh, point rating method job evaluation under under job evaluation methods there are two uh, methods are there uh, first one uh, non analytical methods uh, second one uh, analytical methods under the non analytical methods uh, there are two methods ranking method and uh, job uh, classification method job classification method and uh, ranking method and next analytical methods analytical under analytical methods there are two methods are there first one the factor comparison method uh, factor comparison method and the next point rating method the, uh, these are all the uh, regarding uh, job evaluation methods and this is about uh, job evaluation uh, stages objectives objectives of uh, job evaluation and determination of waste structure uh, minimizing conflict objectivity and uh, rationality in waste structure and determining uh, determine the monetary worth of job uh, and also some of the advantages are there it ensures the hiring of the right people based on the job evaluation it ensures the hiring of the uh, right uh, people it helps uh, flatten organization levels and uh, and also it uh, streamlines responsibility levels and uh, it facilitates career planning and uh, it uh, provides bottlenecks for uh, comparing the complexities uh, and it provides uh, data based on uh, which which an incentive schemes can be formulated it provides database on uh, 
which an incentive schemes can be formulated and uh, it eliminates to a large extent uh, grievances about remuneration it provides a rational basis for uh, discussion with the trade unions at the time of uh, wage negotiations negotiations and uh, it provides a justification for uh, allocating uh, allocating pay a different uh, differentials between groups these are all the advantages of uh, job uh, evaluation and coming to the human resource planning uh, there are four uh, stages uh, under uh, human resource planning first one is uh, analyzing analyzing labor supply and the next uh, forecasting labor demand uh, and the third one balancing labor demand with the supply and the fourth one is uh, developing and implementing a plan these uh, these are all uh, relating to the relating to the human resource planning process this is importance of human resource management to hire right person for the right job to avoid a high manpower turnover to ensure people doing their best to conduct a proper interview to avoid legal implications to ensure proper compensation management to ensure quality and justice and the right pay for the uh, uh, right person to avoid uh, unfair labor practices this is the importance of human resource management uh, this is the meaning about uh, human resource management human resource management is the process of uh, managing uh, the human resource of an organization in tune with the vision of the top management uh, this is the meaning of uh, human resource management uh, in this class we have to uh, in this class uh, we have explained about uh, introduction of human resource management and uh, human resource planning and the steps what are the steps are involved in the human resource planning and uh, job evaluation and the job uh, objectives of job evaluation and methods of job evaluation thank you thank you for watching this video హలో సార్ రమేష్ చెప్పు ఇప్పుడు ఆధార్ కార్డ్